Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today's video we're playing some more Axton in the randomized Roguelands. Let's get this job done. I've been trying to get some more wins. Like we had we had a winning streak about a week ago, just bang, 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 bang. But it's been a bit of a struggle as of late. I'm hoping that this Axton run can get me started the right way. I'm also hoping to get some skills that actually synergize with turret. Sentry is a big one that I like. Maybe slag turret as well. We're picking up a lot of this stuff off the ground here. Oh, Singularity, okay. A Hulk can give me explosive damage scaling if I want it. Amp Shield, not my favorite. Team Fire Rate, though, is good. Fire Rate is useful in just about any kind of weapon. All right, so what did we get? Okay, I see double up. That's going to be slag turrets if I want it. Do I have Gemini anywhere? No, but I do have Money Shot for the first time in a long time. The route to get there is absolutely atrocious. You do have Battlefront. I don't have Sentry to keep my turret up, though. My turret duration is going to be short. Strip the Flesh. Or Explosive Damage if we want that, too. I think in the beginning here, Looking at what is going to give us the, the, the best possible start. And impact is nice with the gun damage. Kinetic reflection is just bad. To me, to me, I think it's just bad. Let's take the... The gun damage and the, the crit. Or... Yeah, Rising Shot, it only gives you up to 10% gun damage. Whereas Velocity gives you... With each point. Okay, it can go higher, I see. But I'm going to go for some crits, I think. Alright, let's roll. Some Amplified crits in the early game here. Hopefully, it can get us started. We don't have to have everything figured out right in the beginning. We can work our way to it, you know. Okay. You ripped. Oh, you're lucky I'm out of ammo. I only want to fire one bullet though. Conserve my ammo. There we go. Crits only. Hmm. I'm gonna swap to something that's a little bit easier to hit from close range. SMG time. There we go. We're just playing Borderlands. We're not we don't have it all figured out, but we have an Hyperion SMG. Let's get reload off before I swap back. To my sniper here. This guy is coming up real close. I want to take him out. There we go. Looks like they all are. Yeah, I'm about to get the gap really close in on me. Ignoring the enemy over there because he's not going to do damage to me right now. There's two skags there. I kind of don't want to trigger them while I have some alone time with this bad boy. Okay, looks like we're fine. That, that hit, by the way, just, just saying. Okay, who's on me? Nobody. Okay. Did We did trigger the skags. You're gone. Just one shot, just one. Make sure we unscope, save some of that ammo. Tap. Tap. No reason to try to snipe this dude. Just get the Hyperion SMG out. That's how that's how we play Borderlands. Um, I think I, I, am I rocking a shock damage relic right now? Yes. So I think honestly, this might do a little better. I don't want to end up with all shock, but if I, if I come across a shock damage enemy, which I'm pretty sure isn't that often, can always just swap. Definitely gonna want Terra here as my health gets a little bit low. I have a Singularity. You toss it. Yeah, these guys are a little bit dangerous actually with their thorns, thorn attack. Didn't think about that, and I'm shocked up. Uh, do I need this? I kind of want to save this power for next round if I can help it. To really speed up my clear. Yeah, the uh, Pyrex candy, the blue one. Here we go. Let's see. A slag damage, max health. Do some slag damage. That's the only one there that it really I respect. 
the end of the day. We come back for Pyrex candy. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of shock damage options now. So let's do... Without longbow turrets, this skill I don't like at all. This, this, this maglock. Um, let's see. Preparation is the only one that makes sense here, right? Honestly, the gun damage makes more sense. To me, at least. And then we can go double up. That'll give my turret some slag. But I got no way to decrease the cooldown. And I've got no way to keep it up. So. I get that. That's a way right there. But is it is it more worth? I don't think so. Especially because I just got a light off damage relic. Okay. I need, I need something for corrosion. So let's take that pistol as well. We definitely climb here for the pressure the pressure play up top. Definitely, because that could that could be potentially be one some really strong uniques. If I do go explosive damage, I don't think it's gonna be with that. I don't think it's gonna be with that. Alright, let's climb to the top of this and grab our pressure plate. Top things we're hoping for. I would take a high damage shotgun. I would take a high damage sniper rifle. There is a Rocketeer. Or a Citrine Cannon. But I just don't see it popping off that hard. We take the, the Vlad off because it's a Vlad off. And I got the Vlad off... Uh, Relic. The shock damage is pretty nice though right now. Okay, so I think going forward, our main weapon is definitely going to be swapping to this rack of shell that I got. Where is it? Yep. Oh, this is Malawan. This isn't Vlad off. I was basing it all around the fact that I thought I thought I had a Vlad off sniper, which I do not. A uh, Vlad off sorry, I could be fun. Let's move the rack of shell. Honestly, I much prefer this, the regular sniper. Sorry, Rakishel. And you thought you were coming in, but you're actually not. So I could use this Vlad off damage relic. Could be good. I still haven't. I didn't open up the chest from the very beginning. Am I crazy? I mean, a lot of times it is when you're taking your most fire, so it's hard. I just can't take everything nowadays. I mean, the TMP, sure, why not? It's, it feels better to be able to do it anyway, because it's the way Borderlands should be. You know, put, put it all on your backpack. And the drop rate is pretty crazy. But it is what it is. I'm mean to go back and try out the... Oh, oh yeah, I have the Pyrex candy. Sorry, I'm fully auto. I don't have to worry about tap fire. Full Pyrex candy. And even without it, I'm just as deadly. Look at me go. Get you as you fly in. And even take any damage from it. Let's go ahead and toss this bad Larry out. Do I have a way to slag? Got a way to slag. I do. I think I've got an even better way, though. Use this bad puppy. And for corrosion damage, let's use this umbrage. This is going to be the only two weapons we need for a little bit. Um, yeah, even with the Vlad off relic. I'll go for slag first, huh? My turret's only gonna last a little bit longer. How's it doing down there? Yeah, it's hurting. I get some damage off. Come on, get us there. This is the best damage I can pull off right now. Let's see if I can get some guys grouped up. At least to CC them, you know. Do a little bit of CC action. I guess cooldown is the most important here. Toss one of these. Make sure he stays slagged. Bad habit of not reloading beforehand, but... We're taking down this, this ultimate badass loader a little bit at a time. That grenade didn't make it. Nice try. There you go. We used cover and we, we did it. We did the thing. Okay. What about this Vlad off? Even without the relic. Let's see what, how it does. 
It's not terrible. The accuracy is somewhat reliable. And then when you add on this flat off damage and recoil, let's see. I mean, it seems okay. Seems okay. I could, I could see myself rocking it. The accuracy is nice too. I can hit people from far right now. Melee damage. I'm not sure if it's there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Jump over this. And let's see, what do we got for... Fast Rifle seems fine. I think... Double Up is... Strong, and it's, it's, what, it's what we want to go for. But beyond that, looking into the future, is it not just Money Shot... It's tough to it's tough to say money shot when it's so far down this tree. It's so good though. Lay waste and quick charger down here too. Grit is the only other one I think is useful to here. Death mark. I don't get how I can really incorporate that into my gameplay right now. I think over here is just such simpler bonuses. It's gonna give me so much more right now, and I can always respect later. Yeah. Rising shot. Just makes so much sense. I'm going to be stacking it instantly with the with this flat op. Look at it. I'm painting targets and far. That being said, I would take a like a garnet rifle too. Yeah, it's a train quad, but it's with a Hyperion grip. Okay. It's a train cannon. I'm, I like the Gatlin guns. I like the I like the higher damage ones. If you don't mind. I might try a, a, a fox during like an allegiance run or something like that. Hmm. Just be, take them because they're elemental for no other reason. Okay. Let's ride. I think we're fine here. Let's try this Vlad off for a bit and then we can also uh, try slag damage on it as well. The problem with this flat off, yes, it is slag, but the problem with it is that slag has lower base damage. But I think that with the 1.5 kicker, I think, I believe for most weapons, having slag versus a non elemental is a, is a, is a strict buff. Especially for rapid fire weapons. Right, let's see what we get. Oh, that's a nice little anarchist, and it's flat off as well. I think that's going to be a higher DPS option. It's going to be my highest DPS option as of right now. Um, which one do we want the damage or the, the... I think that we've got enough gun damage now that the shock ends up being better. It is what it is. I know I want... I I want to use the Vlad off one. Trust me. I can try it out. I like a tank your enemy. Why not us? Why not now? Having wards going to be nice. It's not as good as willing, but it's, it's going to be nice for getting back our shields. At least gives us an option. Like, if we get a B shield, we can be excited and be like, okay... At least we have a skill that can help us with our shields. And that shield recharge relic can also help too. That's nice damage to a gallant spider ant. And we just we called out Mr. Turret. Now that now we check it check it against this this flat off one. Okay. So right to the right to the face, it's doing about that much. Swap to the shock one. I know this guy's getting a little bit low for testing, but... Ah, uh, it's hard to tell which one's doing more damage. I could just do the math. What's... What's 1.0? What's this number times 1.0 times the gun damage times... Uh, or take the... Okay, take the flat damage bullet times your gun damage. So whatever it is, one say if your gun damage is seventy percent, you take the, the take the original number and multiply it by one point seven times the shock damage relic. That's gonna be your poor. That's gonna be pull. That's gonna be your your total bullet damage, and then your fire rate and your reload speed and your mag size come into play after that. That's why rounds per minute is a good is a good metric for 
for determining how fast a weapon actually fires. Okay, so. I think Rising Shot, we're going to go all the way up with that one. I don't really want Scorched Earth because I want to be able to see. Critical Ascension is nice. I don't think there's any reason now to take at least one point into it. Oh, and it gets me down the skill tree faster. Would you look at that? I think we do need a little bit, a little bit of defense with, with Ward. It is what it is. Like, I would, I would love to just ignore it and go, you know, for Battlefront there, but... With our build being the way it is currently, I'd rather just not. Okay, so I can I can destroy that barrel without alerting the enemies. That is good to know. This guy spawns and he's usually pretty tough, but I absolutely rinse him. No problem. No questions asked. Turret it out. Turret will slag. If I can find the slag target, the turret will slag more enemies. Because it will switch targets. So it's better to always fight with your turret. Get way more efficiency out of the slag. Because you don't want him to keep shooting the same guy. You'd rather, You would much rather have your turret... Shoot at other people. That's how you do it. See, the amount of... The amount of... Uh, Axton... Disrespect is unbelievable. If, I, if I'm thinking about, like, top-tier Vault Hunters, at least in Rogue Lands, from my experience. Axton has a lot of what you want. Slag turrets? Are you kidding me? It's like, well, the other characters all have a way to slag. Really? Or are there grenades limited? Oh, speaking of grenades. Axon is the grenade dude. He can He's the only character that actually makes them useful at late game. We take it down here basically on purpose. Oh, I don't have my weapons organized in any way, shape, or form. That is okay. I hope. Let's crawl forward a little bit. Hopefully land some shots here. And we good. Toss these. Tough enemies up ahead. You sly guy bag, homie. I'll help you slag too. Okay. Thank you, t thank you, t turret. I really appreciate what you're doing for me. Yes. Oh yeah. Nice job. Okay, so do I have any way to heal? Is the question. Do I have a transfusion grenade or anything like that? No, still no. Okay. Start with this. Start. Start with that uh, grenade then. Pull them out, maybe slag them up. Oh, I see, they're up there. It's gonna help me at least identify where they're where they're at. Almost out of pistol ammo, I need to go pick some up. No pistol ammo. A longbow Tesla could do the trick here. I think it gives us at least an option for. I mean, it synergizes with our shock damage as well. Yeah. Let's use this for aggression. Let's go for, use it offensively. Okay. Keep zapping him. Good. That's enough. Heavy Nomad just chilling over there on the other side of that fence is absolutely terrifying. Alright, let's go. You slide guy back. Okay. How many how many Teslas can we get on him? Oh, I didn't know he would run away further. I thought he was I thought he was done running. Apparently I was wrong. Let's go for I don't want to get too close to him. Let's just use another Vlad off. And do I have anything shock? Yes, I do. Let's make sure that, that is on slot four. Hmm. This sniper should do fine here. Put that in slot one. Oh my gosh. Don't show your face again, homie. Oh gosh. Here he comes. He's actually, do, he's actually making a pretty good push here. He might win. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got a fibber. Mm, we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a try. Get yeah, lob transfusion with the 0 0.6 fuse time like that. Okay. I'm shooting battle number two, and I'm definitely gonna go for battle number three because honestly, our grenades and shield could probably use an upgrade. 
Homing Slag Transfusion, even though it does take a while to get there, I think does have a certain something. Have some juice, I think. I say we go for more grenades, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go Ward. Battlefront sounds sounds good to me right now with the way my build is looking. I mean, preparation to give me some of that healing when my shield is full. No, I think Battlefront. Give me that pretty big juicy uh, gun damage and grenade damage buff. I think that's going to have something for us. And that heavy Nomad that was over here, could you chill out? Not cool for... Like, that guy's just like, yep, I'm going to chill on the other side of the cage. If it wasn't bladed, I would try it out. But if I, I know that it was bladed, it's te technically nerfed. So. Because that could have been, I think, another accessory, right? That's how that works. I already got this one. Which one am I missing? That one. All right. Crack a bottle, let's body waddle. Turtle shield. I think I've got a shield based build, but it's not it's not enough to negate a a 5.8 second recharge delay. I just don't think I could get behind it. This one seems okay to me. I would take it over the one I currently have at least. Alright. We can roll. Don't have don't have the best defense in the world, but heading into these next boss rounds, I think we'll we'll have enough damage at least to get the job done. Come on out, homie. So I think our grenade can, we're gonna use this this slag transfusion. I think well. Let's go for the let's go for the Tesla instead. Let's do it. We can we can slag with our turrets. So. We don't have to worry about that. Plus one Tesla to see how the damage goes. I think the damage is going okay. So that's a couple more. I'm gonna get that reload off. Anarchist would probably do a lot better there, but it is what it is. I don't I honestly don't mind if he targets the boss the whole time here. Let's go to our anarchist. Wherever it is. Where are you? It's the shock anarchist I'm looking for. This one right here. You just draw my turret, I'll become more powerful, powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> it's like how you got directly nerfed. Don't ask those questions, okay? I don't have any kill skills. There's really no point in rinsing these guys, except just to give me some alone time with the boss. That's about it. Um, I don't have a way to slag in my inventory right now. Should probably put one in. As well as a transfusion, because I might go down here. Something simple for slagging. Something simple. Yeah, this is hard rifle is good. You don't really use the rifles for much else. Okay, in trouble. Still alive though. Just get hit. Oh, watching the fire bomb in the sky attack. There we go. That's that attack's dangerous. That attack's dangerous. Okay, now we can slag him. Potentially bag him. Hope my turret targets, because if not, it's a bummer. Oh, we make it out of that. Rinse this dude, because it's fun. And then go back to the main effort. Destroy the aerial golem. Why not? <laughs> That's like fighting Wotan from BL3. Let's see. Uh, either one, but we take the TDO for chucking, I think. Battlefront into... The status effect damage really going to help us? Well, if we have... Evil Enchantress, it will. Do I have Electrical Burn? That'd be fun to, that'd be fun to couple with this build. Doesn't look like it, so I think we can probably stop here realistically. I mean, we don't need any more gun damage. I think we can honestly go for some preparation. Just some more defense. 
The events will win the day. If you let it. Let's see. A fire print for now. I guess, I guess we'll leave that there. Just kidding. Come on now. The Fire Pimpernel, one amongst the highest damaging weapons in the entire game. Some would say it's number one. Oh my gosh, did you see those stats? Sorry, I meant to... I meant to not do it this way, but... Give me that one. Everything was better. Sorry to the old one. Um... Melee shield, no thanks. Let's rock this. 12? Trash. Alright, do I get all the iridium? Looks like I did. I, I'll take a slag morning star, I guess. I want that iridium right there. Give me that. The things I do for one iridium. I've got, but you have god mode at the end of the round, right? Yeah, you can't take damage, so you're fine. Is there a iridium back there? He's like, I'm actually going to go check it. It's crazy. This guy's insane. There's just no way he's going for it. There is a way. What is it? You have to know. Okay, we leave it. Let's go. Two sanctuary. To f and then we got to figure out what raid boss we're fighting. I think SDUs might be the way here. Um, Because I have a shock anarchist. So I'm going to increase pistol. And I have a pimper now. I'm going to increase sniper. And I have I want to chuck a lot of grenades. So I'm gonna go grenades. Does it get any simpler than that? I don't think so. So what what's gonna, what's it gonna be looking like? It's gonna be looking like anarchist for primary weapon damage. Slag in slot two. Pimpernel comes out in slot three. We also got a, a we also got the stomper and a little Eevee. The little Eevee can. Can be good. It's got really good utility. It's got really good utility. And if we have to go Pimper, no, we can. I think this should be fine. Let's roll. If it's Terramorphous, obviously we're swapping Pimp. Ernell. Okay. So they did, it did come to pass. We are fighting Terramorphous. Transfusions will be the, the the way we win this one, but until then, I would like my pimper now. Let's go. We invested in sniper rifle SDU for this exact reason. Our relic should probably be pimper now is Malawan, right? Yeah. So it's not Vlad off. Yeah, I think we just, I think we honestly just go cooldown, right? All right, Tara, bring it on. Tara's actually got me the last couple times, so I'm hoping that these transfusions can help out. I want the transfusion with more consistency. A turret can slag. I don't need the extra slag for my grenades. Okay, I think I timed that pretty well. A little early. That's without slag. That's without slag, by the way. I have critical ascension. Just want to put that out there. Oh my gosh, this thing just absolutely ascends to, to absolute madness. Ho, 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 ho. Rinse the crits, brother. Rinse the crits. Jeez. Right, you gotta aim low, though. That's the, that's the secret. Aim low. And then they just explode. It's ridiculous. Hoplite shield, I mean... I've run it before, and I would run it again. I am a little bit shameless when it comes to these builds. Hoplite is a little bit insane as well when it comes to... Ooh, this is actually a tough choice. It's 
a restructuring interface where it's not going to be that high in damage, I don't think. This one just looks incredible. Feels incredible to use. I have a Pimpernel that does the same role. Go Interfacer. This seems like a fine build to me. Got something, a little something for everything. Let's rock. Little EV will probably play role before it's all sudden done. I, th some of the harder corrosive damage areas, just seeing that opportunity loading screen just gives me flashbacks and nightmares of, of dead runs because of constructors. And ultimate badass loaders. It's those Hyperion zones that, that are the tough ones. They are the tough ones. Go. Bada bing, bada boom. Difficulty tier two coming at you. I was recording some uh, X Defiant earlier in the day today, and I got started in a match. And oh, a little Skull Master Sniper. I guess we should try it at least. And I got a bloody nose right when the game began, but the commentary was already flying. You know, it was I was already dealing, so I just I just tanked it. <laughs> I just tanked the bloody nose, and it was the best match of the recording MVP performance. I did get first place, and I even got my own little cutscene at the end. It was it was pretty sick. Okay, toss toss the turret down and skull mash. Oh my gosh, that didn't look very fair. Give me that skull masher, come on. Yes, I like this sniper a lot, actually. I know it got replaced or something. I saw a mod that like replaces the skull masher with something else, but I gotta put some respect on it. Just a little bit here. Ooh, almost a train death, but not quite. Yeah, gotta put a little bit of respect on it. We have critical ascension as well, so we can stack up our crit damage if we land more crits. I think the, the main problem I'm gonna have is overall how much accuracy can I keep? Here we go. One crit, two crit. I hate you crit. Oh, I missed. Keep stacking it. Critical ascension. There we go. Oh, there's somebody on top of me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like I'm playing I feel like I'm playing zero when I'm but I'm playing Axton. Actually kinda sick. Anybody else close by turret? Might be a reclaim angle. It's a reclaim angle. Get that cooldown coming back. You wanna jump you wanna fight in the railroad tracks, okay? Certainly a decision. There we go. Oh Borland symbol on the opposite side. Let's go grab that. Yes, sir. Sniper rifle damage? Melee overriding cooldown. No thanks. Oh, now you're torched. There we go. Hitting a bunch of crits in a row feels good. Oh, as I hit him in the shoulder. Later. See ya. That's not bad damage. Like, you might say, oh, it's not a one-shot, but realistically, that second shot's coming pretty quick anyways. You really need a one-shot? Ask yourself that question. Sorry for magazine size. I think we take it in case we do get something like a peak opener or something like that. I want to get rid of this ammo just so I can see this last class mod. There we go. Real speed and magazine size. What is my current class mod giving us? It is the gunner and it's giving me fire rate. I can't really use that fire rate right now. The recoil is a bit too much. I'd rather take the reload speed and the mag size. All right, five points. Let's drop them into... I would say at this point... Expertise. Get more crits going. Critical Ascension. Have some fun with it. It's a mobbing... This is a mobbing round. We're, we got a few rounds to mob it. Let's just pop some heads with some crazy quick scope action. That's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. All right, train goes by, which means we fly. 
I was shocked when that guy was just running at the railroad tracks. Not the move I would have made. Slag damage is nice, but it's just it doesn't have a home on the run right now. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't got its Aaron Judge right now. Okay. I'm ready to rock, I think. See my round two. I'm gonna use this gold master for a bit. Why not? I don't see why not. It's fun. Let's go. Get owned. Critical ascension me. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, it's a whiff. It's a whiff. There we go. Keep up those crits. Identify targets using the mini map. Can't see him. I'm losing all my stacks of critical ascension. Bang. Okay, I got a Goliath digger all, all the way over there. Let's pop his head and then get some distance. You should target somebody else here. That will give me some some time. You got some more kills. No crit. Waste of a shot there. There you go. There's a nice one. If I had that enhanced zoom, I could be hitting way more crits. Okay, there's two. Is anyone focused on me yet? Don't think so. And if I let this guy kill too many lads, he might just... He might just not let me pr proceed in, in the round, so... Maybe I, I, gotta, I need to make sure I, I, I secure all these guys. Come on. Let me, let me live. Let me live. There we go. Let him, let him do damage, but don't, have, don't let him get the kill. There we go. I think I got that one. I think I got you. We, we focus main effort. There we go. Where's that slag? Thank you. Oh, skull masher. That non-crit damage, though. Ooh. Not bad. Maybe I do want fire rates. Okay, so let's go for more preparation. At this point, yeah, let's, let's get some more... Let's take some more uh, aim steadiness. I'm liking it. All right, did we, I do want to get a better relic for, you know, versatility and maybe a sniper rifle damage relic would go nice. Extra shot chance. When it procs, does it, does it do, give me double recoil? I didn't get any extra shots right there. Let's just make sure. Yeah, I got the wrong one on. Here we go. So, how does this double shot work with the one with this weapon right here? The second one, the second shot looks like it does fire a little bit high. Let's find out for sure. So, I fire here. It goes there. Wait for the go back to the center. See that? The second shot, after the first one lands, it fires a little bit higher. So, if, if we do shoot like a, a long range, a long range crit, the double shot will actually hurt us more than it helps us. But, if we aim at someone's chest, we might get a double shot into the crit. So, we might be able to aim at the chest a little bit more often than before. Take everything into account. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find every reason I can to not have to aim at someone's head. Oh! I had a pimper now, but I'm having fun with this. Okay, let's roll. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the Skull Masher. I think it has higher overall damage than those. This is a tough zone. I'm going to try to get to this left side as soon as possible. I did land a crit, but it's not going to be enough. Let's just run for my life, just for a second. Just for a second. Use something else a little bit better close up, like a little EV. There you go. Do I have anything better than this? Yeah, how about a launcher? Let's start clearing some enemies out. Kill this heavy nomad if I can. Okay. We are in trouble. Oh, Pimper, no. We're not in trouble. We're fine. Right? Surely. We're fine. Pimper, no. Thank you. And we also have an incendiary damage relic, so why don't we just put that on, too? Crouch. Come on, go down, homie. 
I need, I need some transfusions to, to start doing their thing. Very tough zone. This is a will kill you style zone. Okay, I need something to destroy this guy with. Skull Masher, why not? Okay, he's down. I can actually breathe for a second here. Who's behind me? Nobody? Transfusions, keep coming. There we go. It's this guy right here. Got you. Oh, what if I go back here? This is kind of nice. Like, and I can choose my next engagement. As long as I don't get soft locked, right? Later. Later. There we go. Just when I got when you get swarmed in the beginning, it's tough. The sniper build, especially. Do we survive it? Do we even go down? I don't think so. Who who's firing over here? You? Gotcha. Don't worry. I won't forget about you. Okay. So it's a badass, super duper badass midget. Um, I don't want it to end my run. Well, it's not. Let it. There we go. I'm a little bit low against against those lads with the pimper now. Skull Masher, really nice for this situation right here. Nice. All right, pimper. Pimper might want to might have to save me here, but what I really want to do is take out this buzzer first. So I can actually have some safety. There we go. Alright, so now we got the super duper alley duper bounce right here. Okay. I honestly destroying the buzzer might be a lot easier. So we we saw that we had the damage, and that's that's all I came to do. Let's just kill a buzzard. There we go. That was pretty sick. That whole explosion sequence. Okay, so let's run. I want even more zoom, I think. Like, this guy's gone crazy. This isn't going to work. It'll work. That's, what, that's the part you're forgetting. It'll work. I think... Elemental Empathy is some damage return, but Duty Calls is more fun. So let's do that one. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Who needs a pimper now? We're going to go Skull Master through this whole zone. Our ammo won't get interrupted at all. There we go. Lost a turret down. A little Maloko action if I want. Don't worry about where you aim, brother. Just hit him. There you go. Quantity over quality right now, actually, with my sniper shots. Yeah. Just land it. There you go. Yes. These guys, we can land. If people, you can land crits on. Land crits on. Other than that, don't worry about the. Don't worry about your crits as much, brother. If crits are free, take them. If they're not free, don't take them. Okay, this guy's this guy's dangerous. This guy's dangerous if he starts dotting you up too much. Okay, that's a must. That's a must crit right there. Thank you. There we go. Another another nice crit. Sick. There we go. Now I got some time to hit up this plague rat. Dang, I whiffed it. I need something that can damage up close. I, I like I really needed to rock like a a Jacob shotgun as my secondary when rocking this bad boy. But rolling thunder. It's not transfusion though. I kind of want to stick to a transfusion just in case. It's just in case me, of course. This time we're gonna get him. There we go. Back to my little Eevee. A little bit more effective against these lads. They got those claws. There we go. All right, shoot brain number one here. Ha. Go for Mr. Brain and numero dos. In tier three is when we start getting all like the the biggest, baddest guns. That hot synergy is gonna be. Whew. 
probably pretty good. Honestly. Maybe maybe that's her option for close range targets. Do we have like a really nice Jacob shotgun that can swap to? Yeah, we got a we got a quad. Like, where's your slag? Don't need it, brother. Don't need it. I probably should. I'm having too much fun doing this away though. Yeah, next round is a bossy round. This, I forgot that this round actually counts as a mini boss round. It's just crazy. He's just so much easier than all the other ones. Well, he's, he's definitely on the weak, on the, on the easier side. I don't want to disrespect him too much. All right, turrets for slag. Then me for bag. Oh, you're so lucky. You're getting. Mr. Presidented. Kills bats. Oh, bye, Zap. Rackman's not going to be happy about that one. And I'm not going to care. Do you know why? So I got a pimper now. Oh, are you back now, friend? Like, you killed my rack. I right, aim a little bit low for this guy. Don't disappear on me. Don't, don't, don't disappear on me. There we go. Got him. And you dropped a legendary? Or did the colors just mess with me? No, he didn't. He dropped a roaster, though. I thought I saw a legendary drop. Hmm. I think the roaster is a good launcher. I think I might equip it. It's a bandit launcher. It's really nice. All right, let's roll. What do we put our points into? I think it now might be time to go to left side skill tree. But if I'm being honest, I'm probably going to respec into, into this skill tree for the raid boss anyway. Let's just do like the wind for five. I don't know, 15% gun damage. Bring our gun damage even higher. Why not? Okay, this should be a decent matchup for us. A decent matchup. We're gonna want to keep it slagged, though. Come down on one skull master. You've been doing a great time, but the memes are over, brother. So you just wasted so many points. Yeah, I did. So be it. And little Eevee. Honestly, let's keep the shotgun out. Alright, so start with slag. Keep it simple. Then go to bag. Shoot down at her at her tummy, I think, maybe. Okay, this is not going as well as I thought it would. Get some slag down, brother. Get some slag down. Yeah, are my turrets dead? I gotta be really careful now about how I play this fight out. Killing the lads is maybe not the best move. I'm shocked this Pimpernel isn't doing more. It's because I have velocity, don't I? I do. Yeah, I think it's a respec angle right now. So velocity, don't want it. Don't want it at all. Let's actually go down for money shot here. So let's go... Kinetic Reflection. Quick draw. I'm sorry to everyone that I have to take these skills, but... It's what we need. It's what we need to do for money shot. And honestly... Lay waste and quick charge are amazing skills in their own right. Let's just take them. And I can still get the slag turret. I can still get the slag turret. It's like this. There we go. That's good. That's not bad at all. And I can get rising shot as well. I can even I can even dip my fingers into some even heavier damage. Okay, let's go. Now the Pimpernel should be functioning way, way better. There we go. Because now the shots don't fire up into the air as high. Before before branching out. Right, let's get some slag down. Get some bag down, hopefully. I, I'm getting knocked around too much by these other lads. That's the biggest problem I'm having. They're, they're doing too much knockback to me. Okay, we actually got some damage down there. There we go. Let's try to be quick with this. 
Gotcha. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. We're still good. There we go. I was going to use a shotgun, but... This seems to be doing just fine, I guess. Ooh. Not confident in this fight right now at all. I need to come up with a different strategy, I think. The Pimpernel's doing okay, but... He actually is slagged. It's crazy. There we go. Oh, heal juice attack. I'm not gonna let you hit me with that. No way. I learned my lesson. I'm staying far away from you. Still has heal juice active. Steel has... She still has heal juice active. There we go. Yep. Yep. Do it, Pimpernel. Let's go. Not a bad, not a bad pass right there. We can just use this squad for a second. Whoa, she, she came down here? What in the world? Ooh, yes. Money shot, too. There go. I forgot about that. We can money shot spam now. See ya. Ooh. They were not ready for this. Okay, let's slag lagger with this bad boy. And start getting distance as much as I can away. Stay stay towards the outside of the zone. Okay, we're fine. I, he can't slag anything because because he's getting swarmed. Hopefully, by clearing out people hitting him, maybe I can not get drained of my health bar. Oh, we got out. We got out. We got out. Thank God we didn't get slowed beforehand. Can you... This, this guy right here is causing me problems. These small lads. That's okay. Let's just start keep, keep DPSing the boss. No, that's not going to work. There we go. Ooh. Not the easiest round, but we made it. I like the tidal wave. Orphan Maker can stay on the ground right where it's at. I'm sorry, but... I'm not going to be using that. Okay, so that's the second to last um, boss of tier two. And we're doing okay. I don't think we went down at all there. Let's go rising shot. I think critical ascension is nice and important. Ward is good too. Now we're starting to get the skill stack kills. Maybe get tiny teenage class mods, but I'm 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 scared of mimics. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I actually got, I got so jump scared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so. They're all the wrong... Um, I guess I do want a little bit of cooldown rate relic. What skills does my current one give? Last ditch effort and steady. But then this one just has better stats. Just an upgrade. All right, let's roll. I wonder what the, my tier two raid is gonna be. I already got Terra Morphe, so I'm not gonna get lucky like that again. I think maybe we do a pull at the box. The Pimpernel is lonely at the top. Also, no Moxie weapons to those to speak of. Tunguska can probably do better than the one I got right now, but maybe I should run it. No, I'm not going to do another pull. I'm going to take Shotgun. Or if I need interfacer. I think it's a smart decision. If I need the interfacer, I'm gonna have it. Okay, we get Hyperius. So now we don't have boar, we do have money shot. Pimpernel is gonna do absolutely a ton to him. Make sure that we have our incendiary damage like on, we do. 
Go for it. Go for it, buddy. Get those crits. Okay. Not bad. Now, these guys don't take much damage from the Pimper now. But they will take damage from potentially a Skull Masher. Maybe a Skull Masher. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. But I would like something that's a different ammo type than my Pimpernel. Because the Pimpernel is going to be my damage for the boss. So I want my, my other weapon to be something that's not a sniper. If you know what I'm saying. And I think it's probably Interfacer, but I'm just scared about the deflection bullets. A little bit scared about the deflection bullets. And it, it does consume a lot of ammo, but it keeps me moving. Keeps the run fun. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm scared of right there. I'm scared that's going to happen. But we have duty calls. We're buffing this up pretty good. And there's no way to dodge those if they hit, come back and hit us, but... Hey, this is tier 2 raid. Like, we're, we're, we're pushing past it with this interface here. It's a little bit. Duke. Maybe it's time for a transfusion grenade as well. Not bad. Thank you to the interfacer. Luckily, I'm st I'm standing far back enough that the deflection bolts aren't doing so much to me. 40 rounds remain. It drained that guy down pretty good. Don't aim down sights. It's just, it's just a death trap. No need to do it. Oh, you don't want that work, Tiberius. Trust me. Once I find that crit spot on you, you are a dunsky, dunzo. Okay, so good job with the interfacer. Appreciate what you did for me. Let's go to the... What do I have for uniques over here? Quick a little Eevee. Mm. Anything corrosive? Why well, don't, well, don't give the Fibro a chance? I said I would give it a chance. I said I would give it a chance, so I don't, why don't we keep true to our word here? I, I think I can get behind it. There we go. Is this the one that does more on the... Yeah, I think this one does more on the ricochets. Why don't we just ricochet it up a little bit? Yeah, this is the one that's really cool on gauge. There we go. That, that boss damage looks cool. Even if it's not like doing that much, it looks cool. Keep ricocheting. The saving ammo from with my with my pimpernel is really what we're going for here. There we go. Now we got some kill skills coming in, kind of like that. Nice. Don't even the cool guys. Don't even look at explosions. There we go. Now we have what we need to take on Hyperius. We got turrets. That was lag for us. And we just try to land that money shot crit that I want that oh so coveted money shot crit. Oh, you coming? You're gonna come fight me over here? Oh, I need some more slag, I think. Or I can just go for more money shots. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. This is a definite toss transfusion situation. Doesn't matter. Let's go. It doesn't matter what your name is. You finally landed. What are you? Chain lightning. Not a bad grenade if I can get a grognos or something for healing. Uh, antagonist. I think it does get equipped. This on shotgun max ammo. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm taking that. Okay. Grab their, all my radium. That way I can get five pulls of the box guaranteed tier three. I don't want to be stuck there if I get, you know, 499. I can't do five, five pulls. Okay. Anything else down here? 
this doesn't have that much potential. Yeah, no, not that much potential. Okay. Press on. No B shield to speak of, which would be really nice to get. The enemy's gonna keep getting stronger. My turret's gonna get, get one shot more often. Which is tough. And I don't have a way to increase its HP. We press on. Difficulty tier 3. Oof. It's been a while since I've actually made it up to those dragons. I would like to get a, a clean fight off if I can. Just... It can be tricky against these, these mid-level raids, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And these mid-level zones. Read some good seems... I've been trying to keep up with the lore a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure it's just... I'm collecting data for Tannis while she's doing stuff. Like, okay, if that's, if that's my role, that's my role. I'm, your, I'm, I'm the guy for the job. To the forge we go. Hopefully it's the super easy zone. It's not the super easy zone at all. I need more damage than what I currently have. Do you have a deputy's badge or something? No. Is it cool down right then? Let's try to let's use this interface for in this zone. Okay. George Destroyer, first enemy. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see at all. Plus this. Go down, homie. Turret is now officially gone. Okay, Bullet Stormer is a little bit more easy to deal with. It's the Tor Destroyers you gotta lock out for. Oh my gosh, I got blasted from from outer space. Okay, if I could get some more damage, that'd be great. Okay, you wanna come up here? You're gonna face the full wrath of No, you're gonna face the full wrath. Ow, that hurt me. Toss this. That's a Tor Destroyer, isn't it? No, it's a dick kill dozer, okay. Okay, we're in behind. Okay, we're there, we're there, we're there. Nice. 70 rounds left, 5 out of 10. Let's get a recall on my turret. I mean, they've been pressing into me. I've just been standing here trying to survive. Oh, deflections. How's this gonna do? And I just ended the run. I have a lot of shots with this thing, though. A lot of shots, a lot of shots. This thing's actually is sick. This thing is sick. Oh, we're so back. It's crazy how back we are. Holy cow. I'm I'm gonna die. Like uh, my build is not gonna do it. Not right now, at least. This interfacer though, it's 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 chugging right along. Tier three, just one of the hardest mobbing rounds. Let's keep it, keep it pushing. I don't have so I don't have a way to just you know cleanse it. I didn't get the the peak opener, the toothpick, or you know the even a hornet. Okay, I'm I'm just I'm just a guy out here. Okay, did another one spawn in? Is it just this one guy? There's there's a couple lads. There's a couple lads. Yep, they're spawning in one at a time. A couple bullet stormers. We're just gonna keep our distance. That's all. And let's go for a skull masher here. It's not the most damage in the world, but it's some damage. There we go. I can I can fire faster as well. Not bad. We have decent boss killing potential. It's just. We need to get something to get our offense a little bit more off the ground. Wasted grenade. That's a tow destroyer. Okay. But wait. I'm in a good spot here. That's right over my head. Wow. Oh, there's rockets. Now there's rockets. 
Ooh, not even close, brother. Bust this out, and this that's definitely the end of the run right there. Gotta get around the corner here. I only have four rockets. Two, three, four. Hardest zone in the game. It's me again. Yep, didn't quite make it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the run like I did, well, we tried. We tr we, we did scale past two raid bosses, and sometimes you have to, you know, manage your expectations. We had a fun run. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.